Have you ever wondered how machine learning algorithms categorize complex data? How they manage to find patterns and organize information in ways that make sense to us humans? Well, one of the ways they do this is by using a technique called T-Distributed Stochastic Neighbor Embedding, or TSNE for short. Imagine a bustling city full of skyscrapers, each one representing a piece of multidimensional data. Now imagine trying to map that three-dimensional city onto a flat two-dimensional map. Some buildings will be closer together, some further apart, but the goal is to keep the relative distances between them the same. That's what TSNE does with data. It takes high-dimensional data, like our cityscape, and reduces it down to two or three dimensions, while trying to keep the relative distances between data points the same. But how does it do this? Well, it uses a bit of probability and a lot of clever math. It starts by measuring the distance between each data point and its neighbors in the high dimensional space. Then it translates these distances into probabilities, with closer points having higher probabilities of being picked as neighbors. Next, it creates a similar map in a lower dimensional space initially placing the data points randomly. It then measures the distances between points in this new map and converts these into probabilities as well. The key part of TSNE is that it wants the probabilities in the high dimensional and low dimensional maps to be as similar as possible. It iteratively adjusts the positions of points in the lower dimensional map to achieve this. The result is a map where similar data points are placed close together and dissimilar ones are placed further apart. To summarize, TSNE is a machine learning technique that reduces high dimensional data to two or three dimensions, while trying to keep similar data points close together. It does this by converting distances into probabilities and then striving to match these probabilities between the high and low dimensional maps. But remember, while TSNE is a powerful tool, it's not a magic bullet. It's great for visualizing data and can reveal patterns that other techniques might miss but it doesn't always preserve the exact distances between data points. Also, its results can sometimes be influenced by its initial random placement of points and by the specific parameters chosen for the algorithm. So, there you have it. A whirlwind tour of TSNE, the city planner of the data world. It's a fascinating and complex technique, but hopefully it's a little less mysterious now. Keep exploring, keep learning, and who knows what you'll discover next in the world of machine learning.